Hello, welcome to another uh, history event here on the Village of Boys Town. It's kind of a cloudy but warm day here. We're getting ready for snow this weekend, so it's changing over to the fall. And as part of our History Week tour of the Village of Boys Town, today we're at the Boys Town Fire Department. And the Boys Town Fire Department has been part of Boys Town for many, many years. When Father Flying had moved to the Overlook Farm in 1921, he had no fire department. It was just the boys. And they would form bucket brigades and put out small fires. And if there was a large fire, they'd have to bring fire departments in from Omaha or surrounding communities. So you can imagine we lost many buildings in the early years. And when he built the new buildings in 1946, Father Flanagan did the expansion. That's when we began to organize our own fire department here in the village of Boys Town. It's evolved and changed over the year. The years. We've had different fire trucks and different leaders of our fire department here. And it's still a volunteer crew of men and women that help make it safe here for our children in the village of Boys Town. Because Father Flanagan was always fearful of fires. That was the one thing he was scared of. That's why he really didn't want wooden built buildings in the village of Boys Town. He wanted big stone brick buildings that you'll see if you come and visit the village of Boys Town today. And today we're in our modern fire department here. And I'm, I'm here with our chief and our, our, our co-chief. And they're going to introduce themselves and take us on a tour through our fire department. Hi, I'm Deputy Chief Danny Jensen. I'm the fire chief Nick Corey. Welcome. Could you show us around the fire department here on the first level? Of course. Starting off right here is what is this, this ambulance here? This is unique. This is one of our two rescue squads. It's an ALS uh, rescue squad, which means that we have paramedics on duty. Both uh, Danny and I are both paramedics, and then we have six other paramedics that are on the department as volunteers. So we're able to respond to any medical emergency. Fantastic. And what are the symbols on, on the, uh, the, the units that we have here? Well, we've got the Maltese cross in the middle, which is a pretty good representation of fire departments throughout the, uh, the world, really. Uh, inside there is the, the Boys Town Crest, the, uh, the boy carrying the other boy. Uh, he's not heavy. Father, he's my brother. And then back there is the uh, Tasmanian Devil. That was uh, Fire Chief John Singh, uh, my predecessor. Uh, that was one of his symbols that he really liked, and uh, he decided to start putting on pretty much all the rigs. And he did, did have approval to do it. Excellent. Nice. Yeah. And then back here we've got uh, all, all the gear that... Uh, our members wear. This is all the turnout gear that we wear anytime we go through a fire or uh, any any kind of uh, structural emergency that requires uh, better protection. And then this is all our members. We currently have 30 members on the, on the department. Uh, 28 of them are volunteers. Both uh, Deputy Chief Jensen and I are here Monday through Friday uh, and paid to be here uh, as not just a part of the fire department, but we also have a training agency. Uh, we also pro uh, provide the fire marshal services for um, the village of Boys Town. How do you become a uh, volunteer fireman here at Boys Town? Well, you start by submitting an application. Uh, we, we go through the application, make sure you fit uh, uh, you know, our requirements. And then we have you come in and uh, you have an interview with the officers of the department. And then we put you through a physical agility test. Do you have to live in the village of Boys Town? No, you do not. You have to live within five miles of the fire station. Yeah, you have to be able to get here within five to ten minutes. Excellent. And we're lucky we have members that live uh, just across the street. Uh, our response time generally is somewhere between zero and five minutes almost all the time. Fantastic. Yeah, which is great. Yeah. And then we move over here a little further. Uh, we've got two of our fire trucks. Uh, 930 here, that's uh, the newer the, of, of our fleet here. Uh, that one's about four years old. It's a great fire truck. Suits all our needs. And then the one next to it is... Uh, about 15 years old. Again, both great fire trucks. Uh, they do a lot of work here at Boys Town. I notice sometimes in the village of Boys Town, they'll come by and you've got people riding on the fire trucks. Who are those people that you allow to ride on the fire trucks? So we have a lot of Girl Scouts and Boy Scouts come do tours here. And um, actually, there's a group from Germany that come every year. And they're high school students. Their favorite thing to do, rain, shine, snow, is to get up on top of the fire truck and ride around the whole campus. <laughs> nice. So even though they're freezing cold, they still want to get up there. <laughs> and around Christmas time, is there a special person that comes on the, on the fire truck into the village of Boys Yeah, Town? every year we deliver Santa into the, the middle of the village, yeah, right on the fire truck. Amazing. He, cr he cruises in and then gets on one of our trucks and takes the rest of the way to the 
knives. Knives. So they're just not used for fires. They're used in the village of Boys Town for other special events. Yes. Who cleans them and maintains them? Uh, the members of the department. After every call, we clean them. They're, they're beautiful. What about graduation? You guys do stuff at graduation too, yep, don't you? Yeah, we do provide uh, uh, rides for the youth uh, during graduation, during the uh, parade. Yeah. Yeah. It's awesome. How, what's the greatest event you've ever used them for in the Village Boys now? Uh, like a fire or something? Is there anything really special you remember how they were used? Well, they've been to lots of fires. Uh, luckily, most of the fires that these trucks go to are actually not here at Boys Town. We are part of a tri mutual aid system where we provide help to the rest of the county departments. So, a majority of our fires are not here at Boys Town, luckily, but Boys Town is one of the safest places in the world. Uh, it, it truly is because of our uh, early detection systems, uh, the sprinkler systems we have out here. If there is a fire, it really doesn't need to be. Knock on wood. Definitely. Yes. And that goes back again to Father Flanagan. Going Correct. Back for the children yeah. of the safety in the village of Boys Town. Yeah. So you're carrying on what he envisioned we would have here in the village of Boys Town. Exactly. And Boys Town's really gone out of its way as a whole, and it always has, of making this place the safest place in the world. I mean, it's by virtue of what we do here. I mean, we're serving youth from all over the country. We want to make sure that they, they arrive and they stay safe the entire time they're here. Definitely. Yeah. Definitely. And Excellent. we enjoy being a big part of it. And you involve the kids in some of your programs here too, don't you? We do. We have a cadet program uh, that we have uh, quite a few youth that are involved with. And, and it's a big part of what, uh, you know, obviously Father Flanagan saw, you know, he started off the first fire they had here, the youth fought. So he saw, wow, you know, these kids can, are very capable. Why not continue on that tradition? And it always has been a big part of the fire department is, is having the youth involved here. Um, and now what we're trying to do is, Get, the, get them involved at, when they're in high school so that maybe we can get them into a career path when they leave here. Because this is a great career, and it's something we want our youth to be able to do. So, yeah. Do some of the former past uh, cadets come back to visit you guys? Yeah, yeah. Quite often they come by and visit and let us know the success stories, which is always wonderful to hear. Do you have some of our alumni stop by too in the visit? Uh, we do, and we actually have a few members who are on the department who actually came from Boys Town, graduated and success stories, and came back to serve the community. Excellent. Very nice. Thank you. Thank you very much. Would you like to show us some more of your, your, your fantastic building here? So this is our secondary squad or our backup squad. If we had a call in Bennington or something like that, we would take that squad. And real quick, let's let's give a shout out. What's happening on this wall while there's a ladder here is our uh, next door that we're building this, this incredible mural that's going to go on this wall, uh, and it's going to look awesome. It's dedicated to the members that are here serving. Uh, so that's why we're under a little bit of construction here right now. So. And as we're walking down the stairs and in the hallway at the bottom, we, we have pictures everywhere, and it, it, it just kind of documents uh, what we do and a little bit of history. history. Of the fire department. It's amazing to see these fantastic photographs that have been taken over the years here at Boys Town. Yeah, it really is. You know, it's nice to document what, what goes on and what we've done, what our accomplishments are. And the pictures where we're standing in front of a building that's burning, those are training burns. So we're just not watching a house burn down. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. There's some great historical images over the years of the fire cadets and the police department and fire department here in the village of Boys Town. Oh, yeah. Some of the old equipment they used to have over the years. Uh, Chief Singh receiving the keys to a fire truck up there. That's yeah, really neat. A lot of history in this building. Do you want to talk about Chief Singh at all? Yeah, um, yeah, Chief Singh. Uh, how do we talk about Chief Singh? Um, for me, he's a huge mentor. I've been here uh, with Boys Town for almost 29 years, and and he's the reason I, I came here. Uh, talked to him about becoming a firefighter, and he said, "Why don't you come come to Boys Town and be a volunteer? We'll, we'll help train you." Um, yeah, he's he's a big part of my life. He's a Huge father figure, uh, and got me where you know where I'm at in life, because uh, I 
started volunteering here. I've been with Boys Town. I stayed with Boys Town, Boys Town but in that time I was also with uh, Cal's Bus Fire Department for two years and then went to Omaha for uh, 23 years and then retired here about a year ago to come here and take this position. Uh, and that never would have happened without Chief Singh. And, and, and not just me, but you look at these pictures here and all these cadets, um, you can see how important the cadet program and working with the youth, uh, it, how important it was to Chief Singh. I mean, you see all these pictures from over the years, but uh, Chief Singh, he took the cadet program and, and really put it on a national map. Um, he took youth to national competitions. Um, and unfortunately, those national competitions, even the regional competitions have gone away. It was uh, youth doing um, fire department things that they could compete at. Uh, and unfortunately, that's gone away. But you can see by all these trophies, wherever they went, they won. Uh, and it was all because of the dedication Chief Singh had for mentoring the youth. Um, and that was a big part of Chief Singh. He, he not only mentored youth, but obviously adults. Um, I, I think if, if you talk to most of the members that were here before Chief Singh died, um, they, they truly saw Chief Singh as a mentor uh, and to all of us, which is, it, it's pretty incredible that a, a man can have that kind of effect on people. Yeah. There's a lot of special people that work at Boys Town. There truly are, yeah. Uh, and yeah, everybody that works at Boys Town is special and, and cares so much about this organization. I think if you ask anybody, they work more than they're, they're paid for. You know, I think all of us, we truly do. And it's because we love what we do. You know, we're making an impact and we can see it. Yeah, it's pretty awesome. This is our meeting room. Uh, this is where we have our, our meetings with our, our members, but we also, um, uh, we kind of talked about it earlier, but we started a training agency um, a couple years ago. That's where uh, Deputy Chief Jensen heads up, um, and we teach EMT classes uh, to rural departments all over, uh, especially the eastern part of Nebraska. We're, we're looking to venture out, but uh, that's part of what we're doing in this room, but we also go to fire departments all over and teach classes there. Um, Danny, you want to talk a little bit about that? Um, and we do a lot of CPR classes here as well. Every summer we have the youth come down um, in groups every day and we teach all the youth CPR and how to work in AED, which are all in all our public buildings. So that's why we have some of the equipment out here. And then in this corner right here, we have a little bit of a tribute to Chief Singh. He was the fire chief here for 43 years. Yes. Yes, so kind of our tribute to him there. And some pictures from the funeral that, um, it's amazing how many people came out for it, so many departments. Because again, going back to Chief Singh and his mentoring, he, he wasn't just here at Boys Town, he wasn't just in the Omaha area, but uh, he was well known throughout the entire state. He was somebody that shaped uh, how firefighting is in the state. That's pretty amazing. Tom, has the fire station always been over here? The fire station's only been here since about the 1970s. The building we're standing in was built as part of a huge complex. We have our post office attached to the building, and we have some Boys Town programs attached too. And if you combine visit, you'll see an American flag flying by the post office, and that's where our post office is located. It's on Monsky Drive, named in honor of Mr. Henry Monsky, our first donor uh, to the village of Boys Town. And I want to thank you today for joining us today on this special tour of this unique program here at Boys Town. It's an opportunity to see behind the scenes what goes on in our village, how the history of Boys Town impacts what we do today and continue, continue on the ideas and theories of Father Flanagan by creating a safe place for our children here. So I'd like to thank Chief and our Deputy Chief for being with us today. And we'll see you tomorrow when we have a special event. We'll be touring one of our homes and meeting one of our Boys Town families. So thank you very much for joining us today.